Hi there, welcome to the Visual Modflow Flex video training series. My name is Braden McNeil and I'm the lead software trainer here at Waterloo Hydrogeologic. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new project and discuss the differences between the conceptual and numerical modeling workflows supported in Visual Modflow Flex. So after launching VMod Flex, creating a new project is, is as simple as clicking File and then New Project from the main menu. This will open up the Create Project window, which allows you to specify the name of your model, where the project files will be saved, and also to specify a coordinate system and project units. When naming your file, the only thing to consider is that you don't want to use any special characters like exclamation marks or number signs or semicolons. The Data Repository field is where you specify where the project files will be saved. By default, all the project files will be saved to the Visual Modflow Flex folder in the User Documents directory on the C drive. A checkbox is also available uh, to automatically create a new folder for the project within that VMod Flex directory. So you'll also choose your project coordinate system at this time. A wide range of coordinate systems are supported in Visual Modflow Flex, including the Universal Transverse Mercator System, European Terrestrial Reference System, and State Plane Coordinate Systems. Please note that the default value here is a local Cartesian coordinate system. If you have any data that will be imported into your project that is based on a different coordinate system than the project system, um, please note that all of that data will automatically be converted into the project coordinate system. The final step at this stage is to specify unit settings for your project. Once again, if you have any data that you're going to be importing that has different units than the, the units listed here, um, you'll be able to convert all of that data whenever it's imported. Also note that the ModFlow input files that are generated during the model translation step will be based on the time and length units specified here. For example, although we've specified recharge units here in millimeters per year, in the actual ModFlow files, those millimeter per year values would be converted to meters per day. So these unit settings really are specific to the data that you'll see within the Visual ModFlow Flex interface. So once these basic project settings have been specified, you can click OK, and you'll then have to decide whether to proceed with the conceptual or the numerical modeling workflows. The conceptual modeling workflow is unique to the Visual ModFlow Flex interface, and it's recommended for all new projects. The conceptual workflow allows you to create a conceptual site model directly in the VMod Flex interface. The conceptual model is then merged with a grid type of your choice in order to generate the traditional numerical model. The conceptual modeling workflow is a completely grid independent approach which provides many benefits. You'll gain a better understanding of the groundwater flow system prior to transforming the conceptual model to a numerical model. Defining a model using GIS data objects is typically much faster than the traditional cell-based approach, and from the same conceptual model you can generate multiple numerical models with different grid types or modeling scenarios, which makes it very easy to evaluate a variety of models. For more information about the conceptual modeling approach, please feel free to watch our video on the subject. A, a link is included in the video description. The numerical modeling approach is the traditional approach to groundwater flow modeling. In this workflow, the grid is designed first, and all model elements are then assigned on a cell-by-cell -cell basis. This workflow is recommended for existing flow models. In other words, if you have an existing USGS ModFlow project, or a project that was built in the classic edition of Visual ModFlow, then you'll want to select the numerical modeling workflow. If you'd like to learn more about the differences between numerical and conceptual modeling, I would highly recommend um, reviewing this article on our website, A Comparison of Groundwater Modeling Approaches, Conceptual versus Numerical. I've included a link to that article in the video description. So once your selection is made, you can start building your model. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Visual ModFlow Flex training videos. The next video in the series will discuss the Define Modeling Objective Step and Grid Creation through the Numerical Modeling Workflow. For additional training resources, including user manuals and free tutorials, please visit the Visual ModFlow Flex support page on our website. A link for, this, uh, for that page has also been included in the video description.